Hey y'all, it's Brandon. And this is Cindy. And we saw this on the side of the road the other day and decided to make a cold frame out of it. It is a little there. 35 inches. And 77 inches. Now we gotta do the frame. Let's get started. Okay, the width of our door plus the width of a two by six is gonna be 40 and a half inches. So we're gonna make an angled cut at 41 inches. Yeah, I know. I couldn't find one of my pencils, so I'm using a pen. I don't wanna hear it. We'll pop a chuck line on that. Voila. And this should give us, yeah, these are the same, so that's what we're looking for there. Okay, marking this to cut it so these boards are the same. Yeah, right angle. You would use Pythagorean theorem to figure out the missing side, right? Yes. Yeah, so. I know it too well. 40 and 3 quarters. So we cut and we measured this, and like we were just discussing, we could have used Pythagorean theorem to uh, find the uh, length we needed for this, but we homeschool the girls and we're not doing any daggum math geometry. on a Saturday, no. We're not gonna do math, but we're not gonna do any geometry. Like it's a lot easier just to go ahead and cut what you can than just measure it. Got a bigger square out here. This is our, our, the bottom part of our uh, cold frame. We're gonna hold it together with screws. I'm pre-drilling just cause I don't wanna split this high quality Lowe's wood. I'm gonna put four screws in each end. I'm gonna go ahead and get all the screws started before we uh, piece it off. Hey, once we got all our screws started, it's just a matter of uh, putting the bottom of the cold frame together. And we made ours using these uh, 2x12s, we made it extra deep.
Okay, for our angle piece, it says we're just gonna, right now, put a couple of screws in from the top down, and then I'll make some uh, steel straps to support the back. We still gotta cut the uh, two by six. Slapping this backer board in real quick. Go ahead and shoot some of an angle in here. Apparently our first crop is already growing in the raised bed. And it is a poot head crop. <laughs> okay, so we've put it together dry. I've got uh, this last board to screw on. And then uh, we're going to paint it before we attach the door and move it into place. We're gonna paint it with some black latex paint. Just kinda help hold heat in. And make it uh, a little longer. Okay. Okay, coat one is almost done. While they're finishing up the first coat on the uh, box, the first coat on the door is done. Okay, well the girls got it painted and we stood it up and uh, painted the bottom side of it. Now we'll move it to the garden. What are you putting in first? Wood. Okay. So I'm going to put in some rotten wood down in the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to put in some of these leaves that we have back here. Okay. And just kind of layer with, you know, some uh, potting soil I have some more, or garden soil. Yeah. Put some compost in, things like that. Okay. We're going to be attaching this door with some pretty standard uh, door hinges. I'm not mortising them in or anything. And the ones I got were too big to fit in the mortises that were already on here. So this will work right here. Now we're not putting this on until Cindy's got that thing filled to where she's happy with it. Because it would be a lot easier without this uh, on board. I'm using a simple measuring te te technique called eyeball in here. Because it's not a house, chill out.
opens okay. Grab this. No, they're fine. They're fine. I'm just going. Well, all we need now is a prop for it and maybe a, I don't even think I need to do a handle because it overhangs. Mm -hmm. So just a prop for it and we'll be done with this. So I'll, I'll get that done. And then a, this is some old galvanized tube and scrap material and this ought to work pretty good for a couple of props for the cold frame. Well, I got a couple of uh, props cut, and uh, we're going to cut another one where it just barely holds it open, so it can be vented overnight. When I came out here, this thing was full of moisture. It was very warm inside, so it ought to do well. Uh, now this is facing south. It's in the back side of our garden, facing south, because that'll get the most winter sun. Cindy, what uh, what are you what are you going to grow? So I'm going to put onions, some roots, uh, root crops like carrots, radishes, uh, I think beets are included in that. I, I bought a, it's a variety of different types of roots. And then I'm doing some microgreens. But anyway, so that's, uh, that's the cold frame. And I uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Hey, y'all behave yourselves.